day to everyone, this is Teacher Jonathan and welcome to Kriyababsi Math Tutorials. In today's lesson, I will teach you how to simplify rational expressions. In order for you to simplify rational expressions, you can use the following mathematical methods and skills. PM dash or gem dash rules, GCF, lowest term of a fraction, loss of exponents, and factoring a polynomial. Without further ado, let's start with first example. So we have 12 over 15. As you can see, this is just a simple and the most basic simplifying rational expressions. So we could list all their factors. And as you can see, the factors of 12 are 3 times 4. And for 15, we have 3 times 5. Now we can cancel out 3 for both numerator and denominator. And that will give you 4 over 5 as the lowest term. And we could consider this as the answer for this example number one. Example number two. We have x squared, y squared all over x cubed y. Now we can we can use the loss of exponents here. So if you're not familiar with loss of exponents here, I'll be posting the in the description the links for this lesson. So going back to the example. We can list all their factors, so meaning to say that x is squared means x times x and y is squared means y times y, as well as here, x cubed means x times x times x, and all you have to do is to copy y here. Then we can cancel out all their common factors. Then that will leave you y minus y all over x as the final answer. Let's have example number three. We have 45a squared b all over 30ab. Now, same as true as example one and two, we could list all the factors or GCF for the numerator. Now, as you can see, 45 has a factor of so 15 times 3, and a squared means a times a, and b just copy as factor b, and 30 means. 30 times 2 as their as its factor, then a b can be written as a times b. Now we can now we can cancel out 15. We could also cancel out a tell us the variable b. Now we have a remain in the numerator as 3 and a and 2 for denominator. Final answer will be 3a. You need to say 3 times a that will be 3. Copy T. It will be the final answer for this example number three. Example number four. We have 2x plus 10 all over 4x minus 6. So, in order for us to simplify this rational expression, we can use the factoring by GCF. And the GCF for 2x plus 10 is 2. Now it will Give you x plus 5. How did I get this? So 2x divided by 2 will give you x, and positive 10 divided by 2 will give you positive 5. So let us proceed to the denominator. So we can use the GCF of 2 also. Now 4x divided by 2. That will give you 2x and negative 6 divided by 2 that will give you negative 3. Now we can cancel out 2 and we have remaining of x plus 5 for numerator and 2x minus 3 for denominator. Now this will be the final answer since this is the most simplest form of this rational expression. Moving on for to example number 5, we have x squared plus x all over 3x plus 3. Again, we can use factoring by GCF here. And the GCF for x squared plus x is x only. Now, if we divide x squared divided by x, that will give you x. And x divided by x, that will give you 1. Denominator, the GCF is 3. So we could divide 3x divided by 3, that is x. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. 
And as you can see, we can cancel out x plus 1 for both numerator and denominator. So we could have x all over 3 as final answer for this one. Now moving on to example number 6, we have 5x squared y plus 3xy all over 3xy. Now we can use factoring by GCF here. And the GCF will be x, y. Okay, so if we divide 5x squared y, x, y, that will give you 5x. And if we divide 3xy to x, y, that will give you positive 3. As you can see here, we could just separate the factors 3 and x, y. And as you can see, we can cancel out x, y. And the remaining will be 5x plus 3 all over 3. And this will be the final answer for this example. Let's proceed to example number 7. So we have x plus y all over x squared minus y squared. Now as you can see, the numerator is already in the simplest form. So we, all we have to do is to copy that one. But for the denominator, it is an example of difference of two squares. So we can factor this out using that pattern. And if, you are, if you're not familiar with difference of two squares, you can check the link on the description. So that you can also learn that before applying to this sample or problem. So the factor for that will be x plus y and x minus y. Now as you can see, we can cancel out x plus y. That will be, and that will remain you 1 all over x minus y. Maybe some of you are wondering, where did I get 1? Remember that any number, any real numbers, or any polynomials, there is always a unique, invisible 1 as a factor. So this will be the final answer for this one. Let's proceed to example number 8. We have 2a plus 6 all over a squared plus 6a plus 9. So we can use factoring by GCF for numerator. That is 2. And that will give you 2 times a plus 3. So 2a divided by 2, that is a. And 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And for the denominator, this is an example of perfect square trinomials. Now, if you're not familiar with perfect square trinomials, you can check the link on the description below for that particular lesson or tutorial okay so going back to this problem the the factoring or the factors for a squared plus 6a plus 9 will be a plus 3 multiplied by a plus 3 now we could cancel out a plus 3 here and you will live by 2 all over a plus 3 so this will be the final answer for this example number Let's proceed to example number 9. We have 2x squared minus 8y squared all over 2x squared plus 8xy plus 8x, 8y squared. Now, if you notice, we can use factoring by GCF for numerator. And that will be 2 as their GCF. And then if we divide both terms, 2x squared divided by 2, it will give you 2 Will give you x squared and if you divide negative 8 y squared that will give you negative 4 y squared denominator we could also there we could also use the factoring by gcf will give you gcf of 2 2 x squared divided by 2 that will give you x squared positive 8 x y divided by 2 that will give you positive 4 x y and positive 8 y squared Square that divided by 2 that will give you positive y or y squared. Now we can cancel out 2 here. And if you notice for the denominator, x squared minus 4y squared, this is an example of the OTS or difference of 2 squares, meaning to say we could factor this one. Okay, so the factoring or the factors for that. Polynomial will be x plus 2y multiplied by x minus 2y. And for the denominator, we have x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared. This is an example of PST 
or perfect square trinomials. Alright, so if we apply the solving using PST, you could arrive to these factors x plus 2y multiplied by another x plus 2y. Now we can cancel out x plus 2y here for both numerator and denominator, and that will leave you x minus 2y all over x plus 2y. This will be the final answer for this example number 9. Now let's proceed to example number 10. We have x cubed minus 1 all over x squared minus 5x plus 4. Now as you can see, the numerator is a polynomial, what we call DOTC, or difference of two cubes. Now using the pattern for DOTC, if you're not familiar with this, I'll be posting in the description, the link. For the description below you can check it all right so okay so the factors for this x cubed minus one will be x minus one quantity x squared plus x plus one and for the denominator this is an example of fqt or factoring quadratic trinomial once again if you're not familiar with and how to solve fact factoring quadratic Trinomial, I'll be posting the link on the description below. You can just check it out. Okay, so the answer or the factors for this x squared minus 5x plus 4, that will be x minus 1 times x minus 4. All right, so we could cancel out x minus 1 here. And then we were left by x squared plus x plus 1 and x minus 4. So I think this will be the final answer. We cannot reduce this anymore. To more simply as or simpler rational expressions all right so that's it for our math tutorials for today i hope you learned something please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and please follow me to my facebook page teacher jonathan goodbye and have a nice day to everyone